This is our 2021 Wellspring building update. And I'm Pastor Cheryl, and I'm here to just um, let you know where we are in the sale and lease of our building. Um, building's been up for sale, for lease, for over a year. Um, a few people that came by and have expressed interest. Um, but we finally have someone that is, has been serious about um, being able to buy the building and take over the lease. Um, and it looks like they're meeting all of the qualifications. And that uh, buyer is Ken Starr, who's the owner of Island Comfort, an air conditioning company. How cool is that? So um, what I want to do is just um, kind of help us to understand um, what's going to happen um, going forward with um, the sale and the lease of our building because we have some, a sale and we have a lease going on at the same time. And so it's very confusing. And so I think the best way to kind of picture it is um, to first look at our church. We have a building and we have a mortgage with National Covenant Properties. And so we've had that mortgage, we've carried it for um, about, I think it's been about 10 years. Um, but anyway, we pay National Covenant Properties a mortgage monthly. Along with the church, it's on land that is leasehold land. And so there's a basically a lease agreement and it's with Queen Emma Land Company who um, has all the rights to the land in this Halaba Valley and so we have the building that sits on these whole property. So there's two things that are going on. Okay, so again, what are the terms with Island Comfort with Ken Starr as we go forward? We listed our building um, and this is what we are selling our building at. It's $450,000. That's just the building. And we have a seven year mortgage um, where Mr. Starr will be paying us $5,656 a month um, and he will be paying the church for that mortgage and then we in turn will um, continue to pay National Covenant properties until we um, pay off that mortgage. Okay, so um, right now it's a seven year um, mortgage, okay? And so <clears throat> what that means is when we think about our mortgage now as of March 1st, March 2021, um, what's left on our mortgage is actually 430,000 remaining that we have to pay. So um, by receiving a mortgage payment from Mr. Starr, we're able to pass that on to Covenant Properties and it's our hope and prayer that we'll be able to, um, in addition to Mr. Starr's payment, be able to add to that to pay our mortgage down sooner, okay? So that's the building part. So when we look at the lease, um, our current lease with Queen Emma Land Company um, went up January 1st, 2020, and we made this huge jump from 87,640 a year for our lease to 150,000-ish uh, a year, okay? Which means that our lease rent went up to $12,519 per month, okay? So we paid our mortgage to National Covenant and then we also have the lease rent that we pay to Queen Emma. Yes, and that's a, a really sad face. Okay, so um, what's gonna happen though with Ken Starr is that when he um, signs all the paperwork, then what happens is he assumes the lease and so we're passing the baton onto him. He will assume the lease and any increases that come up going forward because if you remember, we have about 14 years left on our lease, and after 10 years, uh, Queen Emma will probably be upping the lease rent again after that period for the remaining four years, okay? So that kind of tells you um, what's gonna happen is that Ken Starr will take over, um, will be paying a mortgage to us so we can keep paying on our building, and he'll also take over the lease um, payments going forward, okay? Which is a huge weight off of us um, Wellsprings um, expenses financially. Okay, so the next question you're probably wondering, where will Wellspring go? Where will we be? And we've got some good news for you. Um, part of our agreement with Ken Starr means that he 
wanted us to remain in the building. Um, so we have a two year rental agreement with Kinstar. Okay. So basically we become tenants of, of him um, now. So we stay in place. Okay. Um, you know, that's kind of puzzling. So let me give you the breakdown of this rental agreement and what it means when we, when we stay in place, because obviously he is going to be using the building for, um, part of his business. Okay. So if you picture the sanctuary, 50% of the sanctuary, roughly the, the side that we now do worship in is going to be um, dedicated for Mr. Star to use for his business. The other 50%, the Malka side of the sanctuary space is going to be what Wellspring can use. Okay. And so we'll have use of a sanctuary that we can design and create to be our, our new space again um, from Sunday morning uh, of worship time till Thursday, okay? And then on top of that, all the office space that we have, Robbie's office area, the toddler room, the wave maker's room upstairs, the pastor's office, the two bathrooms, the entryway, that office space that we have to the right of our building when you look at our building from the street, that is going to be ours to use exclusively 24-7. So that's great. We don't have to move um, off premises and so we can stay in place. Also, Mr. Starr is, um, when, once we, uh, once he moves in, he's gonna be fixing up the kitchen, the bathroom's downstairs. And so we will be able to use the kitchen and the bathroom. We'll have use of the big storage area um, that David built for us. Um, we'll have some designated parking stalls. We get to keep our sign and move it over to um, the office side of the building. And Mr. Starr is also going to take care of the utilities um, for us as um, we use this space. Okay, so let me break down for you who are wondering, like, what does this all cost? What does it look like? So, okay, again, just want to make you, sure you understand currently our current expenses monthly for just the, the use of the building and the, the land lease. Currently, it's a $12,500 lease payment, $3,000 mortgage. $3,000 mortgage is actually lower than what we normally pay, but Covenant um, Properties has agreed to lower it for another year for us. Um, so our monthly comes in roughly at about $15,000 a month, and it's actually a little higher. It's been a little higher these past uh, few months because when we had the lease rent increase, it didn't happen right away. And so we have some back lease rent, we have to catch up. So we've been paying about $5,000 a month um, for the past several months. And I think we'll be caught up probably after this month or so, maybe. Okay. So, um, so after the sale and with the rental agreement, this is what we'll be obligated um, to pay. Our rent will be $9,000 a month for two years. Um, and considering what I just told you with the 13,000 we would have to pay, we save about $4,000 a month. And remember, we don't have to move to rent office space anywhere. Um, he can start as paying for the utilities. So really um, there's so much benefit in um, being able to, to utilize this space at this rent, okay. We'll also get income from Ken Starr of $5,656 a month for um, the next seven years, which is really, we collect that to pay Covenant for our mortgage. So he's really taking care of the mortgage payments um, for us and we can add on to that to try to pay our mortgage down sooner. Okay. So when you look at the big picture, it's very confusing. And so we're really happy to try to explain that to you. Um, this is just really more just um, to inform you okay and so it's a really broad overview but when we met with ken star one of the things that was really critical for us in going forward in staying in this um in our current church location for two years is that we would be able to continue to do ministry and not be held back in any way we, we use our building for gatherings for a lot of preparing for outreach um, all kinds of things and so that was really critical. Um, and Ken Starr actually is a Christian himself. And so he understands the, the, the whole idea of um, living into God's vision for our church. 
um, since he also has ministries that he is involved with that are really important to him and that will be um, coming to use our building they'll be coming to use our building from time to time for those for two days out of the week um, so that he can he can um, pour into the ministry that um, God is calling him to so really what's bringing us together is um, this vision God's vision for us for Wellspring to be able to flourish through ministry and outreach so that together even with Ken right we can help one another grow God's kingdom in Christ with Christ and like Christ and so it's been a beautiful thing to get to know Ken um, the SLC and your pastor team has spent time with him and some of his close uh, co-workers and we have the same heart for Jesus and so celebrate this um, we pray that the final stages that we're in is that Queen Emma is taking a look at the final paperwork um, some documents have to be signed but celebrate because we will be free from our lease obligations with Queen Emma land company because Mr. Starr will take them over we'll be paying less rent per month to do ministry and for good use of the space than we currently have had to pay for lease rent. Our mortgage still gets paid and we're sharing space with really another ministry partner. And so, um, you know, it, I don't think it could get any better actually. So if you have any questions, concerns, not understanding um, this, cause this is so much to take in let us know. Email the pastors at wellspringhawaii.org or call us 484-8880 and we'll be happy to talk to you. You can also talk to anyone on the SLC. Our Servant Leadership Council um, will be reaching out to you really soon. We've already got a work day scheduled for ways that you can help us to transition um, and to make this move as smooth as can be. But we thank you and for your continued prayers. We thank you for all of your support and encouragement. And we're excited to be continuing to do ministry with you right where we are. So thank you, church. Take care.